I work with sales and marketing executives who are trying to drive business growth through new strategic change initiatives. It might be new products, it might be expanded offerings, it might be a strategic account program, or maybe a new solution selling go-to-market approach. The concern that every one of these executives have is time to results. How can we accelerate the time to achieve those results and how can we de-risk that initiative? Well, let me share with you three mistakes that we typically see. Number one is the lack of alignment between leadership, whether that be at an operating committee or at a BU or at a regional level. A second mistake is an overemphasis on the change required by the sales rep without understanding the correlative change required by first and second line managers. The third mistake is the lack of customer insight and conversational tools being provided to the sales team to facilitate new conversations and allowing them to execute that strategic change. Over 20 years and 200 client engagements, we've built a model entitled Accelerate based on the best practices that we have learned and implemented with our clients. The first phase is define. And then the define phase, it's critical that leaders forge a set of change priorities from two statements that are the basis of their communication with their teams as well as the execution and planning that they carry out throughout the year. The second phase is build. That's where you take the customer insight and build it into a playbook. That's where you take the coaching guides that managers are going to use with their teams and put it in a playbook. A playbook is something that is sales ready and just in time to allow the sales teams and those managers to effectively communicate and implement the change. The third phase is launch. This is where you bring intact managers and teams together. It's not a training event focused on PowerPoints. It's a change event focused on current accounts and live opportunities, allowing managers to immediately coach to specific actions that their team can take in the coming days and weeks. The fourth phase is sustain. 90 days post-launch are critical to ensuring that the team is making that change. How does that happen? give managers a small set of leading indicators. These are behaviors and activities that can be measured, that can be managed, that can be coached to, and that ultimately can be reported on so that executives can see that their teams are effectively implementing in the field and as a result accelerating the time to results of this strategic change initiative.